Some angry parents in Johnstown after a kindergartner is accused of poking other students with a small needle found at the end of a pricker used for diabetics. Now the school says it wants to clear the air and is trying to relieve those rumors. Melanie Gillespie is live tonight with more on all of this. Mel? Marty, I want to give you a look at what this pricker actually looks like. You can see it almost resembles like a jump drive, but there's a small needle that would pop out the top of it. This one doesn't have it, but the school district says this student really just made a poor decision by bringing this into school and hurting other students. It's commonly known as a finger pricker by most diabetics or a lancet in medical terminology. But on Monday at Westside Elementary, school administration says a kindergartner got his hands on one and brought it into school. Unfortunately, made a very poor decision to then, you know, poke it into his friends and, and cause some, some harm to, to the friends around him. Johnstown School District says altogether five friends were pricked by the small needle, some punctured, others not. But it drew the attention of the school nurse and a phone call home to parents. And then parents, of course, were told that we wanted them to seek the advice of a health care professional at that point, what they felt would be best for them, either via the emergency room or their own pediatrician. The school says the five year old boy brought it in from home where he lives with someone who has diabetes. All five students are okay and return to school today. Did he understand the magnitude of what he did? Probably not. Um, but did he understand that he hurt his friends? He sure did. And so, therefore, there needs to be a consequence to that behavior that really fits uh, appropriate for a child of, of his age. Because it's not technically a weapon and the student is so young, the school says it plans on handling the situation appropriately without hurting his education. Proactive education is our best defense um, in making sure that children are aware of, of, you know, what they need to put their hands on and keep their hands off. Now, prior to this even happening, um, the school district says there are programs in place to try to teach the kids on how to stay safe over the summer to avoid problems like this. Reporting live in Johnstown tonight, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.